Hello everyone, this is Sayer G of GreenMedInfo.com and I'm here today to talk about a subject using our research dashboard uh, which is a really profound concern which is statin drug associated adverse effects. Now unfortunately there's still sort of a mythos out there that statins are primarily um, effective at prevention of cardiovascular disease you know, given that statins have multi-billion dollar penetrance in the market and the meme, right, of cholesterol causes heart disease is as prevalent, if not more, uh, it's very difficult to get people to see the truth. And so Greenman Info has a database dedicated simply to problem substances. And if you look here, actually, this is the 756 that we've focused on thus far. And look at, this is the top most um, researched problem substance on our database. So keep in mind you could click this right here to get to the page or you could just use our handy search box which now gives you access to 10,000 different topics. Problem substance is, is the one that you want here. So we're going to click through to this page which is a resource that I am hoping you will help me get out far and wide because Right now, there's sort of this perception that statin drugs, you know, may be a risk for dementia. They may increase the risk of type 2 diabetes. But generally, the popular consciousness is that it's essential for prevention of cardiovascular disease and to lower cholesterol in a way that's beneficial to the body. Well, if that were true, then how come in the literature I have discovered over 346, or actually 346, different signals of harm in different diseases, okay? So it's a pretty big deal because, uh, again, you think of the average pharmaceutical before obtaining FDA approval, about 75 adverse effects are noted. And that's in relation to the one therapeutic effect that they're applying for approval for. And when you think of the possibility that a chemical like a statin drug, which in a range of as low as 10 milligrams per day can cause adverse effects as serious as death. This is very rare, but the fact that it can kill a human at 10 milligrams gives you a sense of just how toxic they are. Now keep in mind, these are not natural substances. Statins did originate in, in concept from uh, naturally occurring compounds in red yeast rice, which is a uh, sort of almost a condiment that was used in traditional Chinese food. and you still see pigs that are um, colored red you know, after being prepared in, in, the, in the shops of, of Chinese restaurants because that's red yeast rice that they're using. Um, so it sort of had an intuitive compensatory use in uh, culinary traditions in Asia. But um, statins are now synthetically uh, produced, which means there is no relation to natural compounds and having been altered to obtain patent exclusivity, they become essentially xenobiotics, which are foreign substances um, of unnatural origin that technically, by definition, the body needs to get out in or of the body in order to be healthy. And so when you look at all the different adverse effects, um, our database now also provides a way to access this. So these 16 studies on pancreatitis, let's just go click. And that's an interesting connection, isn't it? Because if um, statins cause endocrine disorders uh, such as type 2 diabetes, maybe leading to type 1, uh, targeting the pancreas is certainly one of the ways that it could do that. So here are the different abstracts. Now you can expand them. And of course, you can click on any of those here. And you can actually add these studies to your My Research um, uh, cache there so that you can go back and look at it whenever you like. Uh, and here's the real uh, important thing about our new database is that we have the ability now um, to publish uh, the, the document, the whole, all the series of, 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 of studies into a PDF. Okay, so now you have access to all of the studies in their different categorizations as well as the actual links to, let's go down here, the location on Medline, okay? So actually you can go click it 
And then we've saved the time of you finding the location and it also we're a pass through, meaning we want people to use the National Library of Medicine's resource because that's ultimately where all this um, information in the public domain resides and it has a certain gravitas, right? So if you are, say, a practitioner or health coach or, you know, just a consumer that wants to have a intelligent dialogue with their physician and wants there to be informed consent, you can send them a document like this or link and you'll, you can be assured that because it's coming from a, quote, high gravitas source, they are able then to take it seriously. Um, and that's really the goal. So when you focus research, like in this case, statin drugs research focused on cataract, we now have created two other functions available to um, uh, professional users, which is publish this as a page. And so it's a pretty little thing. It, it's responsive, actually, on mobile. And it enables you to now link, say, in the body of an email you're sending to a physician, or in a article, perhaps you're blogging about the connection. Well, you know, just hyperlink statins cause cataract or, or statins have been linked to cataract. And now you have a way of really pointing people in the direction of the actual research. Um, so this public page is also indexed by Google. So you're helping us spread the word this way. Google happens to really like these sorts of mobile pages and also really wants users when they're searching for a topic to find the information. And so this is really going to help spread the word. Um, and every time you do this, it creates a page that will now forever be uh, on the internet. So there's literally a million plus permutations. So we encourage you to really uh, take advantage of this function. Of course, you have the ability to produce over a million PDFs uh, of focus research using this function, which is the um, download focus PDF function. And so now you can see we have the document. Some people like PDFs. So this is um, one way to spread the word. Now keep in mind, we also have indexed all this research on the muscle damaging effects of statins, the myotoxicity. There's 80 articles here. You can literally um, press well, a button and focus the research. There they are. And then neurotoxicity is number two. This is such a powerful um, finding. Okay, 30 adverse effects so far that we've identified, or modes of toxicity, is that the muscle is a highly nerve um, saturated or um, uh, organ muscle. So when it's toxic to the muscle, toxic to the nerves, what do you think happens? Cardiotoxicity. And we actually have 16 studies directly showing the cardiotoxic properties of statins. Now, what an irony. This drug is being promoted to millions and millions of people, especially if you're in the United States, right, because there's direct-to-consumer advertising on television, implying that in some way statin deficiency could seriously ruin your life and kill you. I mean, really. Um, so when you hear the litany of adverse effects you know, being whispered quickly at the end, it only scratches the surface. I mean, literally, this drug for heart uh, uh, disease is a toxic, uh, toxic, cardiotoxic agent. And so, you know, we have the research here for you, for the world to access. We also have research on, for example, statin alternatives. And this is the set of studies that, you know, actually compares statins to um, natural substances and shows a benefit um, superior, I mean, a natural substance superior to the adverse. Um, effects of the drug and then if you go high cholesterol again that's sort of a, a misnomer because it's such a, a blunt way of looking at the subtlety of, of blood lipid profiles being that there's over 10,000 different categories of blood lipids identified um, in the lipids um, so here you have a huge amount of research on things you could use as an alternative to modulate lipids positively that are foods and common herbs and spices, fibers, and so you have such a huge resource here available for you. Uh, we really hope that you are enjoying the new GreenMed Info database. This is a byproduct of over a year of development on an already um, you know, elaborate um, project which took many years to index the first 20-something um, thousand abstracts, and we really encourage people who so support this 
mission, because we're growing it every day, to consider becoming a member, uh, because this is the way that we actually uh, are able to keep the project healthy and growing. So if you are interested, feel free to take a look at some of the endorsements and uh, some of the features that you'll get as, as being part of a member. So thank you again. This is Sayer G from Greenman Info, and um, re we really appreciate your support.